Well, probably one of the most basic but also fundamental concepts in economics is this concept of scarcity. And scarcity exists simply because of the fact that we don't have the ability to satisfy all of our wants. Each of us was given a certain set of resources, if you will, but those resources are limited. We are limited in terms of our time. We are limited in terms of our finances. And with those limitations, we put those forward to try to satisfy all of our wants, which are really unlimited. And so this is not necessarily a rep recipe for success, unfortunately. Because of that, we oftentimes have to make choices as to how we're going to allocate our resources, which is really what economics is all about. It's really what we're studying, the choices that people make, how people decide to allocate their limited resources for the purpose of satisfying some of their unlimited wants, of course. Now, one point of clarification with regards to scarcity is oftentimes scarcity is equated to a shortage. The terminology is often used the same or simultaneously or interchangeably, if you will. And the problem with that is that they're not the same. Uh, scarcity and shortages are two different things. Uh, for example, if there was a new product launch, let's say Apple comes out with a new iPhone and people are lined up all you know, around the building, cr across the street as they typically are, and obviously Apple does not have enough products available a lot of times to meet that type of demand. Okay? And so maybe someone would say that the Apple iPhone is considered to be scarce because there's not enough to go around. And truthfully, uh, the Apple iPhone is always considered to be scarce because scarcity implies a more general or broad term because of the fact that we cannot obtain all that we want for what we call a zero price, if you will. And the concept of not having enough or a shortage is what really would explain that particular situation is because supply is not enough to accommodate demand and so there is a shortage specifically there but the Apple iPhone will always be considered scarce because we don't have the ability to purchase all of them that we want to at a zero price we will always have that problem it will always be considered to be scarce for that very reason now, because we have to make these types of choices, we're, we're put in a very difficult dis uh, position because we have to decide how are we going to allocate our resources and also how do we evaluate what the cost is for making a particular decision. Uh, one of the things that we consider in economics is this idea of an opportunity cost. And the opportunity cost is simply the highest valued, next best alternative that we're forced to sacrifice in an attempt to satisfy a particular want. And so if you decide, for example, that you are going to go to the movie with friends or go to a movie theater with friends, and you, the cost of a uh, movie is roughly about $10, and the movie is approximately two hours long, okay, uh, you have to decide what is the next best alternative to actually seeing that movie. You know, could you have seen another movie? Okay, you could be giving that up. Okay, uh, but you also could consider a number of different alternatives, right? You could have studied for an exam. Okay, uh, you could have got some extra sleep. Uh, so there are a multitude of different things that you could have done. You could have went to work and actually work for those two hours and earn some more money. Uh, and so we have to consider this opportunity cost here because due to the fact that we don't have the ability to satisfy all the wants that we have, there has to be a gauge on what are we giving up. And that's really how you value uh, something that you're making in terms of a decision. Now, this is very subjective because the person that's going to place the value on that next best alternative is you. Uh, because obviously, it's going to change based upon who it is, right? What somebody values something at may not be what other someone else values it at. So you do have to consider that these are somewhat subjective and it is kind of in the eye of the beholder, if you will. Uh, but the opportunity cost is a very, very important concept here because we're really trying to figure out what is the value of something that we're giving up. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of times we equate this to money, right? We deal with we're very quantitative. We want to deal with kind of hard numbers, if you will. And it's much easier to do that way. But the cost is not always equated to money. Uh, the cost of something could simply be time. 
And in, in economics, really the cost is the actual opportunity itself. It's the ability to do something else, to give our time to something else, not just the monetary value of what we're giving up. In this case, with the movie theater, that $10, uh, most people would think, well, that was my opportunity cost. I gave up $10. I saw this movie. And that is to be included, of course, but you also have to consider the time that you spent there that could have been spent in other places.